Let us begin this half hour with what could be BlackBerry's last ditch attempt to a comeback with two new smartphones. We're going to talk to that company's CEO in just a moment, but first, NBC's Stephanie Gosk has more on the newest challenger to the iPhone. Stephanie, good morning. Good morning, Matt. Well, smartphone technology has moved so fast in the last decade, it seems there is a new must have every couple of months. BlackBerry has struggled to keep up, and now their business depends on this new phone. One tech journalist called it their Hail Mary Pass. BlackBerry maker Research in Motion needed a makeover. A new phone and a new company name. The name it probably should have had from the beginning. BlackBerry. It is a good phone, actually. Surprisingly so. I mean, BlackBerry's had a pretty poor reputation over the last few years. It's kind of refreshing to see BlackBerry actually put out a product that is uh, pretty impressive. But BlackBerry has a lot of market share to regain. It dropped from 20% in 2009 to only 4.6% in 2012. And a technological eternity has passed since its launch. Notice Matt Lauer's Innocent Wonder I mean, back in 2000. And you love this thing called the BlackBerry. I love it. This, this has replaced my laptop, and it's essentially an email pager. It didn't take long for sales to take off. The BlackBerry became the CrackBerry. But then came the iPhone. Is that a Samsung? And Samsung's whole line of smartphones. President Obama with a BlackBerry is more an exception. His daughters and their iPhones are now the rule. For many holdouts, the attraction of the old BlackBerry was the keypad. They have been reluctant to give it up for touchscreens. At NBC News, there are plenty of holdouts. This is the nerve center for nightly news. There's a BlackBerry back there. One person with an iPhone in the corner. The anchor and managing editor. He uses both. I would like to, like the Reese's peanut butter commercial, combine these two devices. It turns out using both isn't uncommon. I use both of them interchangeably, and sometimes it's just a matter of which one I can find in my purse. NBC's Luke Russert found a lot of dual users on Capitol Hill. How long have you had your BlackBerry? Probably about 10 years now, and, and iPhone probably about five. And why do you hold on to both of them? Well, the iPhone's personal and the blackberry i need for work just because the iphone can't handle a high volume of email when it's time sensitive blackberry says it has the solution the same reliable workhorse but now cool enough to hang with the competition blackberry has two new versions of the phone one with a touch screen and one with a keypad the touch screen it says will actually learn how you type to make it more accurate but for those who need the buttons or as brian williams says the peanut butter cup of phones there's a new blackberry with a keypad too back to you guys all right stephanie thank you very much a guy who's got a lot riding on all this is torsten hines he's the president and ceo of blackberry mr hines welcome good to see you oh well, thanks for having me we're happy to have you here okay the good news is the critics who have looked at this device really like it they think you have some real innovations here the bad news is you also hear them say things like hail mary pass or this is a long shot is this really a do or die moment for the company it is a very important milestone for the company. But what we did is not just develop new devices, really exciting ones. Uh, we have built a mobile computing platform. So we are looking even more into the future than just into the next devices. We've Think about the, this as their personal computing power. We've got the devices here, and I want you to be able to show the cool features in a second, but I've got to take you back. There was a time where if you had a BlackBerry in your hand, and, and like a cup of Starbucks and the other, you were cool. And all of a sudden, it seemed to come to a halt. Have you stopped to analyze what went wrong? I think we, we haven't analyzed what went wrong. What happened is that we had a recipe for success with the QWERTY keypad, you know, with the security of a BlackBerry. And I think what happened is we, we were too static in, in, in our recipe that we used to build BlackBerrys. And we've changed that with BlackBerry 10. Well, let's look at this device. I think one of the big innovations is what you call the hub. Can you explain that? Yeah, that's, that's easy and it's fantastic. Uh, the hub is just a collection of all your inflows all your communication channels, all your social networks, all your notifications. And the good thing about it is, if I want to respond to a Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn message, I can do it with, out, outside of the hub without opening any other application. So it's kind so, of like having a split screen of, of no, different apps? No, it's not apps? a split screen. Mm -hmm. It's just a great unified inbox. And if I want to respond to a Facebook message, I hit it, I respond. I don't have to open the Facebook application for this. Mm -hmm. So you take immediate action without leaving the hub. Another cool feature, you're typing a message, you're typing an email, yep. for example, the thing thinks ahead for you. If yep. you type in L-O-O-K, -okay, it immediately gives you the choice on the bottom of the screen of the word looking. You can thumb it right up, 
And then after you do that, which other phones do, it gives you other words that you might want to use to complete a sentence. So, in other words, it's doing the writing for you in some ways. Yeah, we call this actually writing without typing. I read a review, a review yesterday that said this is mind-boggling or even kind of freaky. <laughs> um, yeah, the device learns you. It learns your personality. It learns how you spell, how you grammar, how you build sentences. I'm a German, so it knows I'm you know German-English, <laughs> right? and it adapts to me, too. So that's a fantastic feature. After one week, it knows you. Let's talk about the camera. Very important. As somebody who blinks in a lot of photos, explain how this new camera potentially could eradicate that. Yeah, ever tried to take a picture from three kids <laughs> running around and all eyes open and laughing? Yeah, we have a, a great technology we call it Time Shift that allows you to set the scene correctly over three seconds and then you can actually edit the faces and can really create the picture that you want. So get the best face on best all three face. kids at the very same time Absolutely. using the original photo. Absolutely. Alicia Keys, your creative director, has said, admitted that she actually broke up with the BlackBerry for a while yeah. because it didn't have enough bling. Do these things, Mr. Hines, have enough bling to get people back from their iPhones and their droids? Yeah, absolutely. We got Alicia back, so <laughs> uh, that's also a good proof point. But they really do because we changed the entire user interface. It's easy to use. It's just flowing. You don't have to go in and out of applications anymore. It just does what you want it to do. And then very quickly, the keyboard. For many BlackBerry devotees, yeah. this is the redeeming quality. This is why we hold on to our BlackBerry keyboard. Will you keep that option for the Absolutely. near future? Absolutely. Absolutely. We have so many diehard keyboard lovers for Blackberries. We won't let that go. Absolutely not. Talk we will about give them the best we can. Talk about a throwback. Look at this yeah, one here. Right. This is the one I used to call to call an air support. I need <laughs> air cover on Hill 4 here. All right, Mr. Hines, yeah. good luck to you oh, and the newly you named BlackBerry Company. Nice to have you here. Thank you very much. It's a Thank pleasure.